Greetings and good day. This is Donnie with Tech Winner, and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, guys, I recently invested in a new vehicle for me, a 2015 Nissan Murano Platinum, which has the technology package built into it. It has all-wheel drive. It's got the adaptive cruise control where it speeds up and slows down based on what's happening in front of you. It'll do an emergency stop if the traffic stops in front of you. Heated, cold seats, the whole nine yards. But one feature that's missing on all 2015 Nissan Murano models is CarPlay and Android Auto. So it's got the built-in navigation, the infotainment, but guys, the reality is, is that, at least in my opinion, the original manufacturers just don't do a great job when it comes to infotainment. CarPlay, Android Auto, totally the way to go, but they are not options on the 2015 Murano. So a 2015 vehicle with all the bells and whistles, but it was missing a key piece of technology that would make life so much easier. So I'm here today to talk to you about my journey in adding CarPlay to my 2015 Nissan Murano Platinum. So without any further ado, let's dive in and let's take a look. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know by now that I like to do my research before I go and buy anything. And for the last couple of years, I've been looking at the newer Nissan Murano body style. The 2015 to 22 really hasn't changed from a body style perspective, just small incremental changes to the exterior of the car, but the interior is still completely the same. But all of the 2015, 2016, and first half of the 2017 models did not come with CarPlay or Android Auto baked in. In the model year 2017 and a half, they added CarPlay and Android Auto to all of the Nissan Murano models. So I knew I wanted a Nissan Murano. I knew I wanted a Platinum because of all the baked in features. And one of those I really wanted to have, but not a showstopper, was having CarPlay baked in. But the cost of a 2015 model versus buying a 2017 and a half, 2018, 2019 model, we're talking thousands of dollars in savings, even for a comparable amount of mileage on the vehicle. So as I was doing research, I came upon NissanMurano.org, which is a great user group. It's a forum where people talk about their experience with the car, tips, tricks, things that they've learned along the way. And there was an entire thread on there from 2015 and 2016 owners where they had gotten head units from some of the newer Muranos and installed them into their cars to get CarPlay into their 2015 and 2016 models. This really intrigued me. So basically looking at some of the options that are out there, you can look at eBay, some other third party markets. And typically these head units are 500 to $800, depending on you know the size of the screen. It comes in a seven inch and an eight inch model and just the availability and supply and demand, of course. So if I were to go this route with my 2015, then I have to go through the process of either you know, hiring somebody to install this for me or going through the process of doing it myself, taking apart the dash, which is a complex process. It's pretty straightforward, but it is complex. And whenever you look at taking things apart and trying to put them back together, there's always that question mark in my head of, did I do it right? So if I could help it, I wanted to avoid removing the dash and installing a brand new head unit or at least a used head unit that may, again, inherit some of its own problems, scratches, dents, the whole nine yards. So looking through those forums, there was a more recent post from a company called XA Navi. I will say Zanavi, and I apologize if I am pronouncing that incorrectly, but this is a group that was out of Europe who has created a software that you could install onto a 2015, 2016, early 2017 model and actually enable CarPlay on the existing hardware. The only hardware change I have to make to the Murano is installing a new SD card. So after reading through some of the reviews on the forums, I decided to go ahead and reach out to XA Navi, Xanavi, Xanavi. We're gonna call him Xanavi from now on. I apologize if I am totally butchering that. And I reached out to their Facebook page and started asking some questions about what that install process would look like. Um, you know, this is a small group that's out of Europe that has put together this software package that can be installed. And once I went through the entire conversation with them, felt comfortable with purchasing, they sent me all of the instructions. And guys, this install was incredibly straightforward. As I mentioned a minute ago, SD card was the only thing that I had to buy from a hardware perspective. I had to get a 32 gigabyte SD card, which of course you could pick up anywhere for less than $10. And then as far as the install process is concerned itself, the longest wait time was actually getting the installer from them across the internet because it was like a 20 gig file. And of course, your mileage will vary on how long that's going to take based on what your internet connection looks like. The actual installation itself was very straightforward. You turn on the car 
and there's an SD slot that's next to the CD slot. You open it up, you put in the new SD card with the new software, and it totally kicked off the installation process completely automatically without me having to, to even put in any special commands or any special button combinations or anything like that. And as you can see here, the install process, it took about 10 minutes total for it to complete. And at the end of that process, there was a, a step where I had to remove the SD card and there was a, a file that was put onto that SD card during the install that I had to be able to send back to Xenavi for them to send me the license key that actually validated the software onto the Murano for use. So all in all, huge kudos to Xenavi here because they were very responsive to me. Now I will say they were in Europe. I'm in the Eastern part of the United States. So they were several hours ahead of me. Time zones could certainly be a factor. If you're trying to work on this at night in the United States, you may be waiting for them to respond the next day. For me, I was working on this in the afternoon. So it was the evening there. They were very responsive to me and guys, Within a matter of about 20 minutes, I got the license key that I needed. I was able to put the SD card back in. And as you can see here, the newer Nissan logo booted up. The software started working perfectly. Plugged in my phone. And guys, I was hitting the ground running with Apple CarPlay on my 2015 Nissan Murano Platinum without making any hardware changes, no replacements, no aftermarket. Guys, it was working 100% natively on the hardware that this car came off of the factory line with. Now, I will tell you, I don't have an Android device, so I don't have a demonstration here of what Android Auto would look like on it, but the menu does show it as an option. And from some of the reviews that I read from people who are Android users, that experience has been great. So now I'm a weekend, I've been using CarPlay on this every day, and guys, it works perfectly, seamlessly, just like I would expect, even with a newer device. And the thing is, this 2015 came with the eight inch model, which was the upgraded head unit. So even if I had swapped it out and got like a seven inch, that still would have been a downgrade. Maybe I'd saved a little bit of money, but the reality is doing this completely by software, the total cost $300, added an SD card for a little less than $10, $310 in Apple CarPlay, huge upgrade. And just having this on an eight inch display to be able to use Waze, to be able to use Apple Maps, Google Maps, whatever music player of your choice, you know, podcast, everything. And it even puts all of that music information onto that center display between the speedometer and the tachometer as well. So eyes straight ahead, I'm still seeing all that information right in front of me as well, just like I would expect on the newer models as well. So guys, zero hardware replacement, zero effort as far as an install time other than putting an SD card into an SD slot. And within 10 minutes, I was completely up and running with CarPlay on my existing hardware on a 2015 Nissan Platinum. Guys, I cannot say enough good about the folks at Xenavi.net. I will put their uh, Facebook link into the description of this video as well. Go check it out. If you're a Murano owner of a 2015, 2016, or an early 2017 model, guys, this is a great, very affordable, less than a hardware spend upgrade that takes your existing hardware, puts Apple CarPlay on it. I can't recommend it enough. So guys, if you're considering doing this, let me know that in the comments. If you've gone through this yourself, what was that experience like? If you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so that you're always staying up to date as new content is uploaded. But for now, I'm Donnie with Tech Winner, helping you make winning decisions when it comes to your tech. You guys have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.